One, I'm so happy you're here. Two, I'm so happy SNL is back after Ooh. a four-week break. Yeah. You had the holidays. You, on, uh, you went to London with your husband, it's Connor, so uh, a dear friend of ours here at the show. He used to yeah. work here, an incredibly funny guy. Did you guys have fun in London? We had such a nice time. Yeah, I mean, I've, I'm from Arizona, so most of our vacations... Oh, and hello. Um, but most of our vacations was like, we're going to drive across Utah, you know? And yeah. so... Yeah, we went, we, now we have TV money, and we went to London. <laughs> and, um, and it was so beautiful and so nice. I mean, was it romantic? Did you have moments of romance with Connor? <laughs> you know, how can you not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had such a lovely time. We went on walks. We sat by fireplaces. We went on this walk in, like, a beautiful garden. There were swans everywhere and, like, beautiful birds flying all around. And I will so that, say that, like, at the end of the walk, I was like, eh, there's a bunch of bird <laughs> on your shoulder, bud. <laughs> and he did have, like, a big drizzle of, of bird dump on yeah. his shoulder. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, I definitely probably have something in my purse that can, like, help us get this off. And the only thing that I could find to scrape the bird poop <laughs> off of him was m an old packet of diarrhea medicine from me. <laughs> Kind of a beautiful full circle moment. Yeah, yeah. And really like a romantic tale for our kids. <laughs> but yeah, I did have to take my old diarrhea medicine and scrape the dump <laughs> off my husband. Uh, just like just like London, everything you'd want. Yes, it's known for being fancy. <laughs> You, uh, you spent uh, your summer, uh, the second summer in a row, uh, in Portland working on your fantastic show, uh, Shrill. Have you enjoyed your time in Portland? Oh, I really love it there. It's yeah. so, so dang nice. And, uh, yeah, I love shooting there. It's just the damn best. And it's good people, right? Like, there's really good crews out there because of Portlandia. Yeah, and... yeah we share a crew, yep. Doc Now, Documentary and now, Portlandia, yeah. and Shrill. We all use the same damn crew. It's so nice. Uh, you're, uh, there's an episode where you're introducing your uh, boyfriend, your family. Family in this season of the yes. show. Uh, Connor, uh, your husband does not play your boyfriend, but he's in the show. Yeah, he plays sort of my enemy on yes. the show. Yes. Yeah. Very uh, It's like role play. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, is all about how horny I am <laughs> and how much I get nasty. Yeah. Even bird <laughs> cannot tamp down my affections. Um, uh, you, but in real life, what was it like when you introduced uh, Connor to your uh, family? Yeah, it was. Um, it was it was perfect, of course. Um, yeah. No, it was it was bad, only, <laughs> only in that um, at the time Connor had this car, which for me was very fancy. This but is Chicago, in yes. In Chicago, yeah, and um, and this car, I think it cost under three hundred dollars. Right. Hard to get a car for under three hundred. That's what you think. <laughs> yeah. um, and so my mom came to town, and we were going to dinner, and I was like, actually, uh, my boyfriend's gonna pick us up. Uh, and the car didn't have a muffler, which means that it sounds like a rocket ship going to the moon. <laughs> Just a full, like, <laughs> the whole way there. And then um, the car also didn't run when it rained. Okay. So, you know, classic car stuff. <laughs> um, this one's not a rainer. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get you in this car for $2.99, but you don't want to take it out when it's wet. Also, it's like... I probably shouldn't be riding in the vehicle that can't be a little wet. Yeah. Um, but basically, then after dinner, it started to rain, but we were already in the car, and so we were like, we gotta just try and make it here. But it started to rain so hard that we couldn't see out the windows, and the windshield wipers didn't work. So I was in the front seat, and he was in the driver's seat, and we both were holding the windshield wipers, <laughs> trying to just, like, get to the end, and my mom was in the back, and I was like, He's nice, right? <laughs> you've, been, uh, you've been out doing a lot of press. You were telling me the last two weeks oh, promoting yeah. Shrill. Nice yeah. to have the time off from SNL. You were back in Chicago. Yeah. And uh, what sort of, what, you were doing an event. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like a live radio show. So there were lots of kids in the audience, which was kind of fun. Yeah. And, you know, I, I definitely realized, like, this is not my target audience at, at a certain point because I was, like, doing my best to, like, keep it fun. And I definitely, like, zeroed in on, like, a fat little boy dead asleep on his mom. Yeah. Like, toddler? It, uh, or even, yeah. No, I would, I would put him at, like, a, a solid 11 years old. 
and you got to imagine like an Augustus gloop. Just yeah, like yeah. a nice little stack of circles, like just absolutely <laughs> dead asleep, uh -huh. you know? And so that kind of put me in my head, but I was like, barrel through, you've put this boy to sleep. And, and then, I'm not kidding, I looked over and there was a second fat little Chicago boy <laughs> dead asleep in the audience. And so now I got two gloops kind of sleeping through, through my stuff. And, and I, I hate to tell you this, but there was a third there little a third. boy. It does, those, these things and, do happen in threes. And yeah. I was like, am I like the Pied Piper who can put fat boys to sleep? <laughs> Or what? I don't know. But it shook me deeply. So I need this pretty bad. Oh, there you go. <laughs>